And new tonight, explosive allegations in the poker world. Good evening, everyone. I'm Todd Quinones. And I'm Carla Wade in for Trisha Keen. A Henderson man, one of 25 players, accusing one of their own of cheating. 13 Action News reporter Austin Carter explains how they say he swindled them out of hundreds of thousands of dollars and what he's saying tonight. And be right before I played, all the locals told me, it was like overwhelmingly, watch out for Postal, he's the best. The best, now accused of cheating, slammed with a $10 million civil lawsuit filed in the U.S. District Court yesterday. A whopping 25 plaintiffs, many including players like Jeff Bosky of Henderson, who went up against Mike Postel at the Stones Gambling Hall in California. How can he, how can he keep winning like this? And that winning, the lawsuit claims, was more than 94% of the Stones' live poker games. The lawsuit says he used electronic devices to cheat during broadcast games, raking in hundreds of thousands of dollars from fellow players. The plaintiffs say that they brought suspicions about Postel's possible cheating repeatedly to Stones management, but say nothing was done. Postel's winnings, according to the lawsuit, were not known to have been achieved by any other poker player over a significant time period, describing the chances of his winnings statistically unfathomable in the world of professional poker. The lawsuit goes on to say Postel was able to use wire communication to defraud his opponents via one of the poker tables that was embedded with radio frequency identification capabilities, procured playing cards containing RFID sensors, that technology able to transmit in real time the identity of each player's card. He is either exponentially superhuman in a way that none of us will ever see again, or there is cheating. Attorney Maurice Macverstandig heading up this lawsuit, sitting down with us tonight to discuss what's on the table and how he believes Postal was able to cheat. We watched through hours of game footage from Stones for Standig explaining, but the lawsuit alleges that Postal used a cell phone concealed under the table or a communications device embedded in his ball cap to cheat. For Standig, not basing these allegations on a hunch, but rather the analysis of statistics in review of the manner in which he played as seen on camera. Uh, there is an avalanche of evidence uh, that shows this gentleman was cheating and we can make that case. No word yet if Postal has any representation. However, he did take to social media, posting this tweet on September 30th, saying unfortunately a lot of idiots make up stories and want to contribute to the drama and conspiracy theories. Both claims are 100% false, and we'll be providing that as soon as possible. Austin Carter, 13 Action News. And when these allegations first surfaced, the Stones Gambling Hall released a statement saying they, quote, acted quickly to investigate. And the group has temporarily stopped all broadcasts and the use of radio frequency identification playing cards. And they formed an independent investigation team led by a former assistant U.S. attorney. That group has not commented on this lawsuit.